All right, Shalom. Wanna give all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai. Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the Hopeland Sensei elect. Is Makazar from the that Camp. So I'm gonna do a little edification for the hope for the brothers out here. All right, you know when we out there on the highways and byways doing the Lord's work or doing a video or show on YouTube or whatever the case is, one thing you always bounce up is what scoffers scorners mockers unbelievers so to speak all right because why they don't they don't believe the the, the, the scripture say the word was not sown in them they don't believe that we first to begin with that we are the prophets of the lord and that this is the will of the lord all right that is why they come against it all right the scriptures say oh that they were wise they will consider the latter end they don't know they don't understand the scriptures all right and the scriptures said that the lord <clears throat> that the lord will choose their delusion right so they caught up in one big bubble coming against the, the the men of the lord and the lord said he said the disciple is not above his um his master all right for if they are persecuted me let me read that me read that real quick there's john 15 verse 20 remember the word that i said unto you the servant is not greater than his lord if they have persecuted me they will also persecute you if they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. So guess what? Just like they did with Yahweh Shai, they're going to do unto us. That is why we know that we are the men of the Lord. Because the same things that Yahweh Shai had to suffer by the hands of you wicked ass two-thirds is the same thing that we had to suffer. All right? It's the same things that we had to suffer. We men of the Lord. All right, so I'm going to bring out some scriptures real quick. This is John 7, verse 11. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man. Others said, Nay, but he deceived the people. So guess what? Yahweh Shai went out there and preached for our sakes. But then these wicked ass people, they choose to come against the Lord. All right, because why? They didn't believe in the Lord's word. All right? They didn't believe in the Lord's word. That is why they come against us. We we out there we for their good. But they come against us. And if it if it were up to them, they would actually stone us to death just like they did in the ancient times. All right? This is Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 18. Then said they, Come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word of, from the prophet. Come and let us smite him with the tongue, and let us not give heed unto any of his words. Give heed unto me, O Yahweh, and hearken to the voice of them that contend against me. So Jeremiah is saying, hey, all the things that these people say against me, Lord, hear what they're saying, all right, and recompense them for it. And just like how the Lord recompensed Jeremiah, the Lord is going to recompense us. It says, shall evil be recompensed for good? And that is what's going on. We, we out there for their sake. Alright? We out there for their sake. And they recompensing evil to us. Alright? For they have digged. For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them. And to turn away thy wrath from them. And that is the reason we out there according to Ezekiel 3.17. We out there for their sake to turn away the wrath from the Lord. But guess what? They rather dig a pit for us. To destroy us. And that is the reason why they're going to be destroyed. Alright? That is the reason they're going to be destroyed. Alright? So, you know, brothers, when we out there and we seen all these things happening, hey, it's not you to get mad because the Lord put a spirit on them anyways. Alright? It's not really to get mad and run out of patience and you know want to get all carnal, probably hit somebody wherever the case says, hey, just endure it. Jeremiah say he hid not his face from the spitting and his back from the smiting. So we just had to endure it. Because in due time, the Lord will avenge his very elect. Alright? It says, to his 21, Jeremiah 18, 21. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword and let their wise be bereaved of your children eh? and all this is going to be happening during the hour of martial law 
all right and be widows and let their men be put to death let their young men be slain by the sword in the battle let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly against them martial law all right for they have digged a pit to take me and hit snares on my feet so guess what jeremiah pop curses on two thirds of israel so guess what we had to do the same thing all right that is the least we could do right now pop curses on them and wait for the lord to deal with them just like that nigga bitch that died um a couple of weeks back for stepping on his signs disrupting the lord's work all right we up out there for their good but they rather make mockery and make merchandise of us all right and that was beautiful the lord brought judgment all right and more judgment left to come all right verse 23 it says yet yahweh thou knowest all their counsels against me to slay me forgive not their iniquity neither blot out their sin from thy sight but let them be overthrown before thee deal thus with them in the time of thy anger so all of these coffers corners and muckers are gonna be destroyed in the day of the lord all right or praises to yahweh by hashem shai all these corners and scoffers are gonna be destroyed all right and we can't wait for that day when the lord gonna bring judgment this is luke 13 verse 24 it says strive to enter in at the straight gate for many i say unto you will seek to enter in and shall not be able so yeah so like these corners when we out there prophesying and they don't want to hear but they well they, 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 they're hearing but they don't want to take heed in the day when they see the things that we prophesying about actually come into pass because what happened to them is that they had a seat to believe in that day they're actually gonna start to believe and they're gonna seek us out in that day that is when they're gonna want to be hebrews that is when they're gonna want to be israelites all right they're gonna seek to be enter enter and can't be able to it says when once the master of the house shall um the house is risen up and had shut the door and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door saying lord lord open unto us and he shall answer and say unto you i know you not whence are ye whence ye are so the lord ain't gonna know them all right the lord ain't gonna know them because why the ones who kept diligently and stayed upon the watch prophesying the, the lord's word all right keeping keeping fast to this word that is the ones who the lord know it says then shall you begin to say we have eaten and drunken in thy presence and thou hast taught in our streets that is where they're gonna say we was right there when your men was teaching all right you're taught in our street we was right there we heard the word we know your name is yahweh shai we know your father name is yahweh but guess what in the days when the prophets were there preaching you didn't you didn't care about that so why care no the lord the lord is not mocked all right but he shall say i tell you i know not whence ye are depart from me all you workers of iniquity there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see abraham and isaac and jacob and all the prophets say many a disregard in the kingdom of yahweh and you yourselves trust out all right and that is what's gonna happen to them they, they're gonna be trust out that's what the scriptures say they're gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth because they don't want to believe in the in the words of the lord now but in the day of trouble that is when they're gonna want to believe according to amos 8 and 11 that is when they're gonna seek us out there's wisdom of solomon 5 and 1 then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the faces of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors because they're making account of our labors but when we're going up in the chariots that is when we're gonna stand in boldness because right we made it be that we part of the hopefully elect and they'll be left behind to perish when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation by the chariots of the most high so-called ufos so far beyond all that they look for and they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves this was he whom we had in sometimes in derision and a proverb and a reproach we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor how is he numbered among the children of yahweh and his lot among the saints all right and that is what they're gonna say say we're gonna say we fools we we didn't think that he was a holy man but it's gonna be too late all right it, 
That is why there's always still the same church. You know, when I used to go to church back in the world. All right? They will say what? Too late, too late shall be the cry. All right? Too late, too late shall be the cry. And that is where we're going to go on with these people. All right? Just like in the days of Noah. This is the last scripture here. This is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 36. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left in thine house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread and shall say, Put me, I pray thee, in one of these priests' office that I may eat a piece of bread. So when all hell breaking loose and they realize that the things that we speak and come into pass, that they actually come into pass, that is when they're going to want to be a part of us. That is when they're going to say, Poor, say one of them priest garments. But guess what? In that day, they're going to be too late. They're going to be part of them, them um, foolish virgins. And they're going to be locked out. And the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to open unto them. Alright? So it's only a matter of time before the Lord brings judgment upon all these coffers. So that is all these things we're enduring to see. Alright? To see the fall of our enemies, the, beginning with the enemies of, of the Mosai Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All they that come against His word. Right, so with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostles, the men of great millstone that rule well, that worthy of double honors. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. Shalom.